back and we've got the uh, base painted and stained. Uh, pretty easy peasy. Uh, I, I put planking down on this just to give the floor some kind of interest. And uh, what I did is I took my old soldering arm, my old weller. This is a 25 watt. Used it like a wood burning tool and wood burned the planking into the surface of the plaque. Uh, it took uh, three or four uh, times going over everything because this obviously is not a wood burning iron, it's a soldering iron. So it took three or four times to actually get in there to burn the wood. Yeah, but uh, it didn't do too bad of a job as a wood burning iron. And as I said, we would burn the planking in there. Uh, when that was all said and done, uh, we drilled the holes that go, will go into his feet. Uh, this one has been drilled on an angle since that's the foot that's up in the air and then uh, they've been counter sunk underneath so the wood the uh, screws don't uh, screw heads don't stick out there into the uh, plaque so it lays nice and flat uh, once we got the wood burning done and got the planking in there just using a ruler uh, we've uh, stained it with early American stain I wanted to keep the stain light because I don't know what they use to autograph stuff with. I'm going to assume it's a black magic marker. So I figured uh, one coat is all I need for the stain and then I went over it with the paper towel to lighten it up even more. So I think that uh, should be light enough for a black magic marker to show up on. He can sign it in this on this plank here if he wants or this plank right here if he wants. These planks will also act like a uh, signature area uh, if he wants to use one of them but uh, we got that all done and I'm just waiting for all this to dry and when it dries we'll hit it with some clear polyurethane uh, I have some in a can too by Minwax so we either use a rattle can that has uh, the clear polyurethane or I have this little bit right here which is enough to do uh, this too so I don't know which one we'll use yet I never use the rattle can. I've had it forever. I might give it a go. If it don't look too good, then I'll use the uh, can version of the polyurethane. And we're back, and we've got some more work done on the Freddy build. Let me back my camera up a little bit. There we go. Um, last segment, we were working on the base or the plaque. Now it's finished. Um, I let it sit for a day and now I've gone and cleared it, put its clear coat on it, got a nice gloss on it now. Um, I uh, decided to go ahead and try that rattle can of uh, clear that I bought, uh, I think I bought it back in, uh, well the can says 07, so I bought it back in 07, it's been sitting, sitting and never decided to use it and actually I forgot I had it when I went downstairs is when I, uh, uh, saw it and I thought well why not uh, give this a go I bought it might as well use it it, it does a super job I, I really love this stuff unlike the can the polyurethane in the can that takes all day to dry this was drying 20 minutes I sanded it hit it with another coat and it's uh, really smooth and it took only uh, like I said another 20 minutes to dry and it was all set to go uh, the product is called Minwax or made from Minwax it's called polycrylic now this is an old can, so I'm sure the label no longer looks like this. This is what it is, polyacrylic by Minwax, water-based. Uh, it's really good stuff. I really like it. Uh, might try to, when this runs out, try to find a, another can of it. And I don't remember where I got it from because it's been so long. But uh, yeah, it's good stuff. But uh, we got it painted, or cleared, I mean. And... Uh, once I got that done, we, as you can see here, we got the lower half of uh, Freddie Dunn, <coughs> his uh, shoes and pants, and I went with the recommended colors. Uh, for the shoes, it called a dirty brown, and for the pants, it called for a dirty gray. And I think, uh, well, it probably doesn't look dirty with the sun shining on it, but uh, they are pretty, uh, they are dirty. Um, so that's uh, the pants. Uh, the shoes, we'll tell you how we did the shoes. Pretty easy peasy. We used three colors on the shoes. We used a burn umber for the base color, wash of black 
and I'm dry brushing a raw sienna. That is the uh, shoes. Oh, there we go. You can see that. The eyelets are my Prismacolor marker. The shoe laces are the burnt umber with a little bit of uh, white added to it. I didn't want the shoe laces, obviously the same color as the uh, shoes themselves. So that is the shoes. Now the pants, uh, those are two colors, I guess. Um, I started off with a base coat of zinc. And zinc is a really dark gray. It's the darkest gray I have. Uh, after I applied it with a paintbrush, I went back and applied a black wash to kind of darken it up just a little bit more and to get down in the creases and stuff. And when I got done with it, I really wasn't happy with it. It looked too splotchy, I guess. I, I'm not used to working with something this big, so I think that would have worked on something smaller, but... Uh, in this case, I, I really didn't like the way it looked, so I went back with the zinc again in my airbrush, and this time I tried to kind of just blend it all together with the airbrush, and it looks much better, I think, now. So, when it was all said and dry, I took a little bit of that zinc and a little bit of white and went over the butt, kind of airbrushed the butt and the knees and the top of the legs here, around the bottom of the pants, kind of lighten that up just a little bit more although you can't really see it on camera but uh, I did that and then I let that dry and then I hit it with um, clear uh, polyurethane flat polyurethane the shoes and the pants and then uh, when I was dry I took my chalks and took my finger instead of a brush and took my finger in the chalk and just kind of rubbed it all on the pants. I took black, I took a dark brown, took a little bit of white. Uh, but the chalks, all I do is, as I said, I take my chalks, put my finger in it. At this scale, it's better to use my finger than a brush. Take my finger, put it in here, and just kind of rub it on there. And I, I'm not worried about the chalk coming off because being this is a flat surface, it, uh, it is, it's not going anywhere, being it's a flat surface. And we can take a little bit of this brown here and put it on top of the leg here. I'm doing it on camera, what the hell. Kind of give it a little bit of a brown tone. Because it said dirty pants on the uh, instructions. You need to pick up a little bit of black. Darken the pants up even more. Take a little bit of white up here on the pocket where you have a little bit of wear. Lighten the gray up a little bit. The crotch here, you're gonna have a little bit of wear here. So we can take and put that on there. A little bit of white. And be more using our finger. Not only the high areas are gonna catch the chalk, so uh, that'll be a that'll work out well. Do a little white here on the knee. Kind of lighten it up a bit. And that's uh, really about it. That's how I've been doing it on this uh, model since it's so large. Using my finger and just uh, putting the color where I want it. And as I said, being it's a flat uh, finish, the chalk sticks to it. And being I'm pushing it in there, I can kind of grinding it into the paint so it's not going to come off. We'll put a little on his butt here. Uh, his seat of his pants would have wear from uh, moving around, I, I guess, on his butt. I mean, normally, put a little back here, a little back here on the, sh the calves, lighten that up a little bit. And uh, that, that's uh, really about it. 
probably can't see it on camera, but you can definitely see it in person, so. And uh, that's that's uh, what I've been doing, just sitting here doing that and getting it to where I want the pants, and I think, um, I a little bit more brown here. I think we're almost there on the pants. I think we're, I think that's good. Okay. Got a little, I'm gonna lighten this up right here. Okay, there we go. A little bit more on the knee. I'm gonna lighten that up just a little bit more. There we go. That was all uh, done. I uh, screwed the bottom half here onto the base now. We drilled a couple holes and countersinked the holes so the screw heads wouldn't stick out. And we screwed them uh, into the feet, into the plaster. Those are plaster screws. I wish I would have had some a little longer though, about a half inch longer, but that's all I have. And um, that's, uh, that's that. That's how we've done the she was in the pants and the base, so our next step, I mean, hit my camera, was knocked it over. <coughs> our next step now uh, is to do the sweater. So, the sweater, I think what I'm going to do is uh, paint it red first. And then uh, we'll mask. We'll paint it red, seal it, mask it, and put in the black, or the dark green, I mean, and then go from there. Once we get the sweater done, we can glue it onto the pants. And uh, that'll be another step done. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Take care. We'll see you in the next update.